This video is sponsored by me. I made a new design for my merch store of me and my rabbit Hamilton. Go check it out if you're interested. Ah, the friend zone. The thing every single person crushing on that special someone fears like the plague. I always see these memes of guys being in the sad friend zone, and they always make out girls to be oblivious to the fact that they're friend zoning the guy, or that the guy even has feelings for her. Listen, all you members of the male species. As a female, I'm gonna give you a little girl secret. We know when we're friend zoning you. Hold on, what? You're telling me you knew this whole time? Now, 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 before you get really mad at us for being mean or whatever, I can honestly say girls don't generally do this to be mean. Most people can't force themselves to like someone. Just because someone likes someone doesn't mean the said crush is obligated to return the feelings. By the way, I'm about to generalize a lot for the sake of explaining things in a simple manner. For a lot of us girls, it's hard for us to develop feelings for a guy. At least it is for me. So when I meet someone I think will be an awesome friend, I want that person to forever be an awesome friend. I don't want to awkwardly break some poor guy's heart by leading him on when he clearly likes me and I don't. So when us girls are in that situation, it's easier just to softly friend zone the guy before he gets his hopes too far up there. My intentions are not to be mean or to act dumb or to hurt people. It's to protect not only mine but the other person's feelings so we can keep having this bomb friendship. I'm about to tell some personal friend zoning stories, so if you're out there somewhere and you were involved in this story and are still watching this video, then I'm sorry. Still love you though, but only as a friend. So a while back in a certain school, keeping this vague because I've been to three different high schools and I don't want to make this too obvious, I had a friend. He was pretty awesome and we got along real well and we had the same interests too. Anyway, I didn't think much of it. I never really considered that he potentially liked me because I have really low self-esteem, but then I started to get the vibes. You know what I'm talking about, when someone gets all nervous and awkwardly flirty around their crush, those vibes. The first emotion I felt was extreme guilt. This guy was so nice to me and awesome and he was pretty cute, but I just couldn't see him as anything more than a friend. I had to awkwardly and subtly remind him that I only saw him as a pretty rad pal, and it hurt my soul every time I did this because I felt like I was breaking his heart every time. So, uh, you look really pretty today. Oh, you're so funny, haha, <laughs> friend! <sighs> Nailed it. Honestly though, 10 out of 10 guy, I hope you find some special sweetheart for him to share his positivity and love to. The next story is hard to classify as a friend zone story. It's more of, this boy was notorious for cheating on his girlfriend all the time and I was the next target but I ain't trying to play games type thing. This boy. Oh, this boy. He was a typical dude bro type guy with abs and a horribly inflated ego. How do I know he had abs? He would send me these really awkward shirtless selfies on Snapchat without warning. I would never respond to them. Hey there. <laughs> Winky face. What? What? This is so weird. What the heck? Oh man, but that wasn't the only thing he ever did. That was the least of my worries. I would typically not respond to him ever because, like I said, I ain't trying to play games. And he annoyed the crap out of me. But he would really awkwardly flirt with me every time I saw him. My anxiety would shoot through the roof every time because my mind would go, Abort! Abort! Ah, oh, no! Not you! Mmm, girl, you looking fine. Ha ha, cool, I gotta go wash my pet tree, ha ha, bye! And if you thought I was the only girl, ha 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 no. He also flirted with some of my friends, and he did the typical dude bro type thing of gross flirting as well. I remember one time he happened to be standing in a group of my friends. I don't know how the conversation even got there, but I jokingly said to the dude bro, Oh, wow, you're so hot. I thought I was clearly being sarcastic. I mean, everyone else snickered at my jab, but later he snapchats me. Hey, when you called me hot earlier, you meant it, didn't you? I don't know what to say. I remember one time I got real sick of his cheating butt, so I dead straight said, don't you have a girlfriend after he sent me some flirty message? Mmm, this boy. His response. Uh, I wasn't flirting with you. Jeez, you didn't think I'd cheat, did you? Boy, I have receipts. I know you've been cheating on your girl. I have the evidence from multiple different females, okay? I ended up blocking him because, like I said, I ain't trying to play games. Every time I saw him and his girlfriend, though, she would always glare at me with this hate-filled look as if it was my fault her boyfriend was a cheating scumbag. Girl, I did nothing. Don't get mad at me because your boyfriend is gross. 
Before any of you people that know me IRL try to guess who these people are, I'm gonna tell you that I've been to three different high schools and I've had similar experiences at all three. So you're probably gonna be wrong on your guesses, so don't even try to at me. So yeah, these were some experiences. Let me know in the comments if you have any experiences with friend zoning, being friend zoned, or just weird flirting experiences in general. Let's all cringe together.